tonight. Y'all gonna be cooking it up with Chef Breezy. Um, let's see, how would I say this? Date night style, for real, for real. This is how, this is how you can win whoever you want over. Here we go. Hey guys, so today I decided to go hit up Jungle Gems and get some fresh fish and I came out with some rainbow trout, which is a beautiful fish. Oh yes, oh yes. Oh, excuse my cup, my cup needs to move. This is some eggnog. I got some spice rum in here, some vanilla extract. Shouts out to my homie from work, he told me about this. I mean, I don't drink eggnog, but my girl do, so I found a way to make both of us drink it. You feel me? Hands washed, hands clean. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut these in half so I don't have to cook them like this. I'm gonna cut these in half. I got three. I might only cook two tonight. Yeah, I'm gonna only cook two tonight. Put these in the freezer so they don't go bad. And wrap them up, put them back in the plastic they came in. Put them in the freezer. I'm gonna cook it with the skin on. I just wanna get the uh, bones out. I don't wanna put have no bones in this fish. Guys, sorry about the fan. Let me turn that off. But yeah. Sorry for being so rough. You wanna treat your uh fish <laughs> with respect guys okay y'all so right now i got the rainbow trout and now i'm about to season it with simple iodine sea salt Oops, got it on for just some simple salt and black pepper don't really matter i ain't got no white pepper so i'm gonna use butter i didn't have any um canola oil so i'm just using butter i wish i would have clarified it but hey so I'm just going to take the fish. I'm going to cook it skin side down first. Yes, I, I left the skin on here. I want it to get crispy. The skin. I wish I can get all four of them in here, but you don't want to overcrowd the pan. If I had a bigger one, I, I could. But I didn't want to use the other one that's bigger. I love this one. See, even three brought the heat down, so you just want to get them on. With this meal, I'm going to also make creamy mashed potatoes. I got some Yukon Gold Golds that I quartered. I already boiled them ahead of time because I didn't want to waste your time. And I got to turn this rear on. So, okay, so I got them already boiled and stuff. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I make my mashed potatoes. I'm gonna keep it all the way a hundred. I had to add an extra light because the first, you know what I'm saying, part of that video, it just was too dark to me. But hey, I'm still putting it in there because I need y'all to see step by step what I'm doing. So I'm gonna take a sip of this eggnog. And before I touch any food, I'm gonna wash my hands again. Any food, I'm touching objects now, but I'm gonna wash my hands. But hey, I got the uh, cooked, quartered Yukon Gold. I'm gonna put them in a pot in the back. While watching this fish, I got it on like not even on medium because I want it to be okay. I'm gonna go ahead and add cream in it. Answer my phone. My mama's calling, y'all. It's always something, and I'm not bleeping this out because he's my mama. Hey, mommy. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour the, the some heavy whipping cream in there. It's gonna help me mash them. All right. I'm going to do half of it, and then I'm going to start mashing away. My masher is dirty right now, so I'm going to use this whisk. That's not the consistency I want. I'm going to add some more cream. But right now, I'm going to check on the fish. Let 
Okay. Yes. Yeah. It ain't even. You know what I'm saying? All right. So we gonna let it keep going. We are gonna let it go hard. I'm gonna turn the heat up medium a little past medium and I'm gonna keep going with these mashed potatoes you do it as long as you know to the consistency you want not what nobody else want what you want like what you, whoever you cooking for they preference so I'm gonna make mine a little creamy it might be a, no it, it's gonna have a little chunk to it but a little creamy to it if you know what I'm saying all right so I already turned one piece of fish over I'm not satisfied with that. I'm mad that I even turned it over. I was distracted. I'm not even satisfied with this either. So I'm gonna keep the. I'm gonna let them go. Let them go. But I'm gonna just let y'all know what I've done with the mashed potatoes. On the other hand, I'm adding. I keep adding cream. I put salt and pepper in them. You want as much salt and pepper as you want to taste. Sorry, y'all see it all squirting up. Yeah, you see, it's kind of creamy but chunky at the same time. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I didn't tell y'all that the other thing that I was going to be making is Brussels sprouts. I'm going to go ahead and saute out some turkey bacon in that butter. Get it crispy. This is for my Brussels sprouts. Maybe it's time to flip the fish right now. So I'm going to let that bacon crisp up. And I'm going to go ahead and look at this fish. It feels like it's falling apart. It really does. <laughs> so you know what I'm going to do. I don't want to take no chances, y'all. So, the very thing that I'm going to do here is turn my oven on. Let it preheat at 350. And then I'm gonna let these crisp up on the stove and pop them in the oven because I ain't having it. They're falling apart on me and I ain't on it. Alright, so as far as mashed potatoes go, I still got them on low. And I got some minced garlic. Some garlic that I chopped up very, like I minced it basically. I'm gonna put that in there and I'm gonna give it a good swirl. These are gonna be kind of garlicky, chunky, delicious. I mean, delicious, creamy mashed potatoes. Chopped turkey bacon is popping, making it seem like it's doing something, <laughs> but it ain't. All right, so no, it's not. It's not ready enough. Uh, yeah, it is. No, it ain't. We want to let the bacon render out. It ain't gonna render as much as you know pork bacon, but hey, we still gonna we still gonna do the thing. We gonna do the thing. Um, I'm still sipping, and we ain't tipping on full foes, but we used to sip full old goals. So remember at first when I told y'all that I'm gonna keep it real, y'all. I'm gonna keep it always keep it a hundred, y'all. I told y'all that I only put butter in here. Well, you can do that sometimes. I mean, you can do that most of the time, but when I put the butter in here, like, only it was just falling apart. But since I put the oil in there with it, it's just making it easier. You see this one? This probably is the perfect one, while these other ones have fall, fallen short. <laughs> but who cares? They're going to be delicious. They're not going to fall short in flavor. You feel me? But yeah. Well, as soon as the oven preheat, I'm going to pop them in the oven. Back to these Brussels sprouts. So, we got the bacon. Yeah, about where we need it. So, I already strained the blanch Brussels sprouts. These Brussels sprouts have been pre-cooked just, just a few minutes ago. Boil, boil it in some water. Dump them in there. Turn them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Give them a little hot pepper. I have to cut the salt again, season them. I'm going to go ahead while those are Brussels sprouts are going and flip the perfect one first just to see how it turned out. It's probably not going to be so perfect after all. Let's see. Get a good grip. Your grip is what's messing it up. Oh, yeah. Ooh, look at that. Mm. Nice, crispy, beautiful skin. I'll 
think. Yeah, I'm gonna get this one too. Get it just like that so it don't break on you. Oh, the skin came off though. Ooh, that's what epic fail. Epic fail right then and there. Y'all know y'all see that? But I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. I ain't about to keep nothing fake. Nothing false. That happened. It don't mess up the flavor though. So this one's already turned. Popping them, stirring them up. Sir. You wanna let them caramelize a little bit. It's hard to get a 14 year old to eat Brussels sprouts. You wanna make them good. So y'all see I seasoned it with salt. About to hit them with some pepper. About to take a sip of eggnog. Y'all know why? Cause life is good. I got my heat on medium. So I'm about to make a, a white sauce for the fish. A simple white sauce. Ooh, it's hot hot. <laughs> I mean, you got the butter killing everyone. And you want to add some, that cream, the rest of the cream you had for the mashed potatoes, put it in there. With the butter. What's that? Redo. <laughs> put it. Okay, and then we got some lemon. I don't have a strainer, like one of those ones I can. So, let's not get the seeds in there, shall we not? Squeeze that lemon juice in there. I'm guarding them seeds. I ain't trying to pick them out. My hands clean. Give it a stir. Let it do its thing. Let me get me a clean thing. Boy, one. You just want to let it reduce and add some salt and pepper, and that's what I'm about to do. And if you don't have cream, what you can do is put some butter in the pan, put some flour in the pan. Don't let it go too brown. Just let it go for a, a few seconds. For real, for real. Just don't don't let it get brown. You want it to be a white sauce. Put some um, butter in the pan, and, and then pour some milk in there. And let that milk boil. You yeah, put your lemons in there. You have a white sauce. Okay, so the fish is, is crispy. I took it out the oven, and that's how it look. I'm gonna plate this. Try to plate it beautifully for you guys. I'm gonna lay the fish down. I'm gonna take a scoop of these mashed potatoes. Full of these Brussels sprouts. Just it on there. There you go, baby. There you go. Hey, now you have it. We got the pan fried rainbow trout on top of garlicky mashed potatoes and roasted Brussels sprouts with turkey bacon. And then we have some white sauce that I made with lemon. And you know what you just did? You just cooked it up with Chef Breezy. Then I make it look easy and I hope I really made it look easy through all the trials and tribulations. Hey.